welcome back everyone uh, I, I just realized last episode we had gone over our time step by four minutes so yeah <laughs> yeah we're just returning to the city after locating Amran's family sword yeah so Hopefully we'll be getting some sweet rewards for this. And next I know a location where we can go and get plenty of, um, what are they called? Mammoth tusks. Yeah. So we could sell some to Bellathor and still have more than enough to give one to Ysolda. Okay, then we're almost there. Ooh, more flowers. Okay, let's go to White Rod. Oh, yeah, I should probably get my ataxia looked at while I'm in here. I think the, um, I think the shop Arcadia's Cauldron is open all night long. It's basically the healing station of, oh. Um. Yep, let's just... There we go. She should be open. How do you feel? You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. Of a sort. Yeah. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but... Something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. Yep. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or wit bane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Oh, I'm sure. Take a look. Let's see if she has a potion of cure disease. Yes, she does. Okay. Uh, exit. As long as you clean up. Yeah. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. Yep. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Okay, then. Let's use this alchemy table to mix yeah. some stuff up. Remedies for ailments, both common and... Hmm. Do let me know if I can be of service. Let me see if I can remember some things here. Ah, yes. Fortify heavy armor. That's good. No. Improve with practice. Hmm. Okay, I know that snowberries. I sell cures for all. And be happy to serve you. Blue butterfly wings. Fortify enchanting. Yes. I know that bear claws. Chorus eggs? No? Hmm. You'll find tonics, salves, Blue Mountain. Yep, yep. Fortify conjuration, damage, magical regen. Ah, uh, yes. Resist fire. Glowing mushroom and frost, Miriam? No? Glowing mushroom and hanging moss. Fortify health. Very good. Large antlers and lavender. Fortify stamina. Lavender and imp stool. No. Glowing mushroom and garlic. No. Death bell and elves here. Nope. I offer remedies for ailment. Blue mountain flower and bleeding crown. Bone meal and death bell. Ah, oh, ravaged stamina. 
Nope. Ooh! And we gotta level up. I think that's enough alchemy for the moment. Go for more Magicka. Mm. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Okay, then. Now we need to go find Amran. Tell him we found his stupid sword. Safe, I hope. Yep. Hmm. Uh. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. One day, Nazim, I will murder you. One day. One day I will save the game, turn around, and proceed to drive the blade right up your ass, Nazim. It's a shame, isn't it? Ah, there you are, Amran. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life. You found it. I've been looking for that blade <laughs> for months. Yep. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here, my father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. Hmm, very nice. Right then. Okay then. Next up, it's the mission to a uh, poacher's house. It's fun most of Hmm, to do. So, what to say, what to say, what to do. Hmm. So, you know what? I really should have purchased that Summon Indrik spell. Yeah, so, about that Summon Indrik spell, it's actually from a mod that adds in an Indrik mount. For those who are not in tune to the Elder Scrolls lore, um, there is a beast in the um, lore of the Elder Scrolls known as an Indric. It is supposedly uh, an avatar of nature itself. Um, and what this Indric beast does is technically it is somewhat of a defender of the forest and is usually revered by the elves. The problem is, the Indric beasts usually are not very nice. As a matter of fact, they're downright aggressive in some cases. And so the Indric was added into the Elder Scrolls Online as a mount. And so everyone really enjoyed having an Indric beast. So, um, this prompted the creator to create, a, uh, the mod creator, to create a mod that adds in an Indric mount. And, uh, while I do like the way it looks, the problem with the Indric mount is it's kind of flashy, weird, and distracting. Ah. Yes, here is, yes, this is my, uh, this is another Creation Club content house. It's called the Tundra Homestead. Yeah, I have yet to unlock it yet. You have to purchase it for 7,500 gold from Preventus Avenici in uh, Whiterun, which seems ridiculous, I know, but, you know, 
That's Preventus for you. Ridiculous. Ah. See that over there? We are about to fuck that tiger. And I mean that in the most non-literal sense imaginable. I believe it is having a turf war with that crab. Second tiger. Okay, we got a problem now. I'm going to come circling around and try and murder me. And now there's another two. What? Wolves? Oh, shit. Ow. Fuck. Potion. Actually, cure disease, fortify health, uh, enhanced heavy armor. Minor healing. Now, I have this moment. There! Whew! Dead kitty! I don't see another cat over there. So now let me see if I can fire upon that saber cat over there. From a safe distance. The problem is, with human beings, they're always almost in the same location, but those cats move so quick. Okay, you know what? I think this cat is not interested in fighting us. I think he's interested in chasing that elk over there. There we go. Kitty is dead. Something came up and killed the cat. Yeah. Ow. Bad bug crap. We are taking this cat. Apparently the cat wore itself out fighting literally everything in the river. Ah, and here's where my arrows were landing. Ah, and apparently it was also fighting slaughterfish, too. Might as well get a hold of them. Oh, it tilled, rather. Oh, and there's a third. There we go, we have popped a arrow into a mud crab. There. Now we can open this chest over here, now that the area is safe. We're lucky the tiger was fighting so many enemies, otherwise we probably would have had a pretty hard time taking it down. Ah. Perfect. Well, not really perfect, but good enough. Bye-bye, <sighs> dead kitty. <gasps> ah. Yeah. Stupid wolf.
Hmm. Yeah. Quicksilver. I can mine this for a hefty profit. <laughs> Mining some quicksilver. Hey, I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. <laughs> I just got reminded of the Yogg's cast. You know, I, I don't I don't understand why people actually got so mad at the Yogg's cast. I mean, sure, it was a scandal, all right? It was a big scandal um, where, you know, they promised they were going to give people that game, Yogg Ventures. And I'm like, okay, look, these people are YouTubers. They're not game devs. They don't, they don't make video games for money and everything. And, you know, it, it is true. They probably have some coding knowledge in them. But at the end of the day, uh, they're not, they weren't going to be able to pull out that product. And I, I honestly believe anyone who bothered to invest with them should have realized this, really. I mean, what are you, you going to say to that? It's not like, uh, oh right, uh, we have a timestamp we got to keep. Well, we'll continue this conversation in our next recording. And until next time, bye-bye.